Hey guys, good morning. This is Dan with Ledger Support. So in this video today, I'm going to show you how to stake Matic from your Ledger account. So let's get into it. So the first thing I want to do is make sure I have the latest version of Ledger Live. So I can go to ledger.com slash ledger dash live and download the app. Once you're done, you can just open Ledger Live. And I want to go to add account, select an Ethereum account. So just type Ethereum, click continue. Now my device will automatically install the Ethereum app and I need the Ethereum app to install an Ethereum account to Ledger Live. Now you might be wondering why don't I need a Polygon account because I want to stake Matic. So do I need a Polygon account? And the answer is no, you actually need your Matic in your Ethereum accounts, but not your Polygon account. So that's a very common mistake. Now Ledger Live is asking me to open the Ethereum app. So I'll use one of the Ethereum accounts that has the Matic in it. Okay, so I'm going to select this account. And you can see here, if I click show tokens, you can see there's a little bit of Matic here. And this is the Matic balance that I will attempt to stake. Again, guys, your Matic needs to be in your Ethereum account, not in your Polygon account. And I know this is a little confusing, but the smart contracts that manage staking Matic are actually on the Ethereum network and not on the Polygon network. And that's why you need your Matic in your Ethereum account. Okay, let's move on. Now, I cannot stake directly via Ledger Live. I can just close Ledger Live for now. What I need, however, is MetaMask. MetaMask will help me stake my Matic. I've already downloaded MetaMask here. And this is my normal MetaMask account, not the one that's protected by my Ledger device. What I want to do now is connecting my Ethereum account to MetaMask. I'm going to click this icon here, click connect hardware wallet, select Ledger. Here, I want to make sure that the Ethereum app is open on my device before I click the continue button here. You can see it says it's ready. I'm going to click continue, select my device and click connect. It's giving me a list of accounts and the account with my Matic is actually the first one on the list here. So that's the one I want to unlock. I've connected my Ledger Ethereum account. I'm now ready to stake the Matic that's in it. You can actually see my Matic balance here. And that's the same balance that I showed earlier on Ledger Live. Now, as I said, I cannot use Ledger Live to stake my Matic. I need to use a third party app. I'm going to use the Polygon Wallet, which is kind of a weird name because it's just a third party app. It's not exactly a wallet. Let me show you. I'm on Google and I want to type Polygon Wallet and search. That's the app that I want, wallets.polygon.technology. Let me click this. And this is the app I'm gonna use to stake my Matic. The first thing I want to do is connect my Ledger Ethereum account uh, to the app via MetaMask. So I'm just going to click the connect to wallet button here, select MetaMask. And I'm going to tell MetaMask to connect to my Ledger. So this is the account that I'm looking for. Click next, connect, sign. Okay, now you can see my ledger is asking me to sign a message. I know it's coming from this app, so it's safe. This one is clear signed, which is good. So it says, greetings from Polygon. Sign this message to log into Polygon Wallet. This signature will not cost you any fees. This is good. Timestamp, okay. So I'm gonna scroll all the way to the right, sign message here, and I am going to sign this thing. So now my ledger device, is connected to uh, the Polygon app via MetaMask. I'm ready to stake. We need to click Polygon staking here. I'm on the validator page. As you can see, there is a lot of them. It's a little confusing. So here's a few tips. 
In general, you want to make sure that the commission is not too high. Okay, the commission is what the validator will keep for themselves for the service of staking your coin for you, the delegator. Okay, so try to go for as low commission as you can, but you also don't want a validator that's doing a bad job and that will miss on staking rewards. So before I click the delegate button here, you can see it's grayed out. I wanna click login, select MetaMask. You can see here, my MetaMask is connected and you have to do this a second time, which is a little annoying, but it's necessary. You can see now the delegate button is available and I can click on it. I'm going to go with Atlas staking. I don't have any connection with them. This is not endorsements nor ledgers connected to them. It's just because they're at the top of the list and they have a 5% commission. So I'm gonna go with them. I'm gonna click delegate here and choose how much Matic I wanna delegate to them. I'm gonna go for formatic and click continue. So this transaction here is to give access to my Matic. You can see there is a fee attached to it, it's 0.8 dollars. And I'm gonna say, okay. I'm gonna review the transaction, type it's an approval, unlimited Matic. So again, I trust this app because I've used it before, but be careful when you're signing approvals like that. Some of them can be malicious and you don't want to get into a situation where someone steal your funds. So address, max fees, I'm going to say accept and send. I'm going to wait for that transaction to be confirmed on the network. So it looks like my transaction was confirmed on the Ethereum network. Now, the Polygon app has access to my Matic balance, so I'm ready to delegate. All I need to do is to hit the delegate button here. I'm going to do this, and MetaMask will prompt me to sign a second transaction on my device. So I'm going to click confirm here. Before I do this, just want to make sure that blind signing is enabled in the app here. So I'm going to go to settings. Blind signing should say enabled here. That's the case. I can go back and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. Click confirm. Now I'm getting a prompt on my ledger device. I need to review the transaction and sign it. So let's have a look. Your transaction, it's blind signing. Amount zero, because I'm moving Matic. That's the smart contract address, the max fee I'm willing to pay, accept and send, and I'm signing this. Let's wait a little bit. And that's it. Delegation completed. I've successfully delegated Matic from my ledger device. Now I can click this button here to see my delegated account. Just a quick note, the amount of Matic staked will not be reflected in my Ledger account. So if I go back to Ledger Live and I look into my Ethereum account, which had the Matic I just delegated, you can see that some of the balance is gone here. That's because Ledger Live is not able to detect staked Matic balance. Don't worry, this is perfectly normal. Now, if in the future I want to stake more, I can just click the stake more button here add a higher amount of Matic, and then go through the same process and validate the transaction with my ledger device to increase my stake. If I wanna get that balance back, I can also unbond and go through the same process. So for example, I could say I wanna unbond 100% of my stake, confirm, unbond, MetaMask will send a prompt to my ledger device, and then I'll just confirm the transaction and I'll get the Matic back in my Ethereum account. And that's it guys. I hope the video was useful and that now you know how to delegate Matic from your Ledger Ethereum account. Now, if you have any questions or need any help, you can reach out to us on Ledger Support. So you only need to go to the website, click the support button here at the top. This is our help center and there is a help button here and you can start a new conversation to live chat with an agent or submit an email. We also on Twitter at ledger underscore support. In the meantime, thank you a lot for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.